You're hungry? But I only thought crows got hungry. All living things have to eat. Well, I don't need to eat. Does that mean I'm not alive? Oh, no, Scarecrow. You're the liveliest friend I've ever had. Oh, I thank you. Just for that, you can eat as much of my hay as you like. You won't be hungry anymore. Oh, no, I couldn't do that, Scarecrow. Oh, you won't have to worry about me. As long as I keep the legs well stuffed, I can walk to the Emerald City, no matter what shape I'm in up top. Well, it's a very kind offer, but I don't eat hay. Well, maybe it's just as well. A little mother field mouse built a nest in here. She wouldn't like to be disturbed. Oh, Scarecrow, look, apples. They're apples? What's apples? In the trees. You mean those little red birds hanging upside down by one leg? They're not birds. They're something you eat, and they're delicious. Ow! What do you think you're doing? Well, we've been walking a long ways, and I was hungry, and... Did you say something? She was hungry. She was hungry! How would you like to have someone come and pick something off of you? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. Come along, Dorothy. You don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you hinting my apples aren't what they ought to be? Oh, no. It's just that she doesn't like little green worms. Worms? Did he say we had worms? That's what I thought he said. I'll show you how to get apples. Sure you got worms. Worms, caterpillars, probably a whole bunch of wood lice, too. How dare you? Let's get them, girl. Take that! Take that! Look out, Barbie! How do you like them apples? I well, like them just fine, thank you. I suddenly twigged. So am I. They made snaps of us all. I think it's time we bowed out. Oh, look! It's a man. A man made out of tin. What? Did you say something? Oh, no. He said oil can. Oil can what? No. Oh, no. there. Where would you like to be oiled first? No, no. No, no. He said his mouth. The other side. No. My, my, my goodness, I can talk again. Oil my arms, oil my elbows. Oh. Oh. Oh, does that hurt oh. you? Oh no, it's wonderful. Well, I've been holding that ax up for ages. However did you get this way? Oh. Well. When I was flesh and blood like you, I fell in love with a munchkin maiden. Her mother hated me. So, to keep me from marrying her daughter, she hired the wicked witch of the West to cast a spell on my axe. The next time I swung my axe to chop down a tree, I chopped off my leg instead. You chopped your leg off? That's terrible. Yes, but by good fortune, I knew of a tinsmith who made me a new leg almost as good as the old one. So, back I went to work. And do you know what happened? Oh, something terrible, I bet. Well, I went to chop down a tree, and dang it, if I didn't chop off the other leg. You should have got a new axe. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you're right. But I got me a new leg instead. And do you know what happened? The next time I swung my axe, I chopped off both arms. I can see how you could have chopped off one, but how did you manage to chop off the other? Well. I told you, the axe was enchanted. Oh, of course. See, Dorothy, if I had a brain, I could have worked that out for myself. Well, I sometimes wish I didn't get new arms, because the last time 
was the worst of all. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Oh, what happened? I split myself right down the middle. Oh, my. So, the tinsmith made me a new head and body. But on the way home, I got trapped in a terrible rainstorm and rusted solid. It just was your day, was it? I've been standing there rusting ever since. Well, you're perfect now. Perfect? Oh, my neck, my neck. Just bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go on, bang on it. Beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No, no heart. heart. No heart. And without a heart, I can never love my munchkin maiden. Oh, oh, Tin Man, don't cry. You'll rust so dreadfully. I used to carve her name on every tree. 